Wow. 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 This is me making an Iranian pizza. <laughs> Oh God, oh shit. oh Jesus, I got a little carried away. But what exactly is Iranian pizza? Oh my, <laughs> this oven is filled with shaitan. Hey, I'm Yara, let me explain. Pizza in Iran usually looks like this. And it's often topped with ketchup, if you're into that. But I had this weird idea. What if I took a beloved Iranian stew known as Orma Sabzi and bastardized it? In other words, what if I put it on a pizza? And what if I did that with the most famous chef of Iranian cuisine outside of Iran? High five. Yes! I'm talking about Najmiya Batmanglij, the goddess of Iranian cooking. She's cooked for the Obama White House and with Martha Stewart. So nice to have you here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you for having me. And you'll probably find at least one of her celebrated cookbooks if you're in an Iranian American household. Anyway, in honor of Persian New Year, also known as Nowruz, we decided to make Orma Sabzi, and then yes, put it on a pizza. Orma Sabzi pizza. Defarmaid. <laughs> what is Orma Sabzi and what significance does it have to us? Orma Sabzi is one of the most cherished dish in Iran. Orma Sabzi. Orma Sabzi. Orma Sabzi. Orma Sabzi. It's a very refined and complex dish because of the combination of fresh herbs, especially fenugreek. All over Iran, they make khorish or misabzi. Okay, but first off, what is khorish? Khorish is braise. Braise is slow cook, very refined in a big pot. Khorish is not a stew. That's an insult to khorish. <laughs> Warma sabzi khorish, is not a stew. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Exactly. So we're gonna chop these herbs. Three cups of parsley, three cups of cilantro, and... One cup of chive or a spring onion. Okay, chop. No, this oh. is not the way you hold this. You wrap it as, well, as, as tight as possible. That is tight. And then you come, you start. Wow. Would you say that warm sabzi is a national stew? Oh, not stew, we can't say stew. Koresh. Koresh. Koresh, Koresh, Koresh. Koresh, please. Because a lot of expression we learn from other cooking. We use pizza, frittata, sushi. So we should contribute some of our cooking Happy tradition to this culture. This is a sharp knife. It should be. Ooh, I like this. Watch, watch your hand. Oh yeah, yes. yeah. Oh, sure. yeah. There's a reason we're doing warm sabzi pizza today and not another khoresh. Because Noruz, the Persian New Year, is a celebration of earth, a celebration of spring. You must eat green. That's why we're eating a lot of greens for the sabzi. Green symbolizes rebirth and renewal. You know, Noruz is not a religious holiday. Everybody can enjoy Noruz, no matter where they are. Yeah, it's all over. Tajikistan, Azerbaijan, Uzbekistan. Afghanistan, India, China, Kurdistan also. I'm going to put it in a food processor. Okay. Put them all in here. Okay, right. that's that. So I do not have a food processor at my house, so I don't know how to use it. <laughs> Let's show them to the camera. Ooh, yes. Mmm. So this is ready. This is the way we want to be chopped finely. We chop all the herbs and then you want to add the fenugreek. That kind of rehydrates the fenugreek yes, too. Yes, exactly. You smell this? Oh yes. So it's refreshing. Okay, put some oil there, two, three tablespoons. And then we put the herbs there, and then you saute this about 15 to 20 minutes until the aroma rises. This stage is important for gourmet sabzi because if you overcook, it burn black, become bitter. If it's undercooked, it doesn't have that flavor. We need a bowl for our dry limes. Yeah, hold this and go like that. And why are we poking holes into these dried limes? Because this way, the flavor of the inside of the dry lime come out. Saffron is a very expensive spice. You can put the saffron as an option, that but is. we're gonna use it because we want everything beautiful and tasty. Oh my God, this is from Iran, I think. This is like pure culinary gold. Grind this. Oh, yes. The perfume is heavenly. Ah, oh, four small onions sliced. Or too large. Ta da Okay. You just do as thin as possible. Oh, I have one of the most celebrated chefs yeah. watching over me. <laughs> Two cloves of garlic. Okay, anytime I see garlic in a recipe, Najmiya, yeah. what I do is I multiply it by four, the amount of garlic. <laughs> no, let's not exaggerate. Let's just put four garlic. Are you sure? Can we do six? 
okay for you. <laughs> a lot of people complain that gourmet sabzi over pizza is not authentic, but actually it is. Up to 17th century Iranians were not rice eaters. They were eating porridge over the bread, round flat bread called naan. Naan is a Persian word. Some people don't know that. That yes. we used to eat this food so with bread, yes. not with rice. Rice has become popular after 17th century. The cheese though? In old time, they put porridge on the bread and they put some cash on it. Cash oh, is right. fermented buttermilk. And we put that on everything. Cash and cheese are very much similar. Flavor. So we're really just making authentic Iranian cuisine. Very authentic. We're going to ancient time. Oh, yes. Well, let me show the camera. Wow. Ah. So what are we doing now? Heat the oil. God. The most challenging thing we've done today, Najmiya, is trying to open the packaging. When you do this, oh. it's come. <laughs> One fourth cup of oil. So now, and we're going to put the onions inside. We're going to saute these until lightly caramelized, lightly golden. And then I put the garlic now, and then I put turmeric. Could you mix it, darling? Yes. You have to do it with confidence. When you do it like that, no good. Confidence. Kitchen is a metaphor. <laughs> Pepper. OK. Salt. Cardamom. Ooh, cardamom. Now we're going to add in the lamb. OK. Then we let this cook. Right. Until it become brown. Saffron rose water. Oh, this looks nice. Give more flavor. Oh, that color. It's a beautiful color. I'm going to use dry lime. What would you say is a flavor or something that sets Iranian cuisine apart from other cuisines? I think Persian food is very delicate. It's not as spicy. For me, the thing that really sticks out is the tartness, the sourness. This has lime in it. There's tamarind in a lot of the stews, even yogurt. Sweet and sour is typically Persian. A lot of people love the St. June because it's a sweet and sour element. Then I'm going to fry my 3 4 of cup. Red kidney beans. Soaked overnight. I usually don't fry the beans. It's a nice touch. Because beans has gas. Some believe that by soaking it and frying it, you remove the gas. And then I'm going to put about five cups of water. And we bring it to a bowl and we cover it and cook it on a very low heat. So now we just have to wait. So now we're going to put the chopped sautéed greens into this... Sauté pan. Let's get them off. Because this is the best part. It has all the flavor, right? It's like brown bits of chopped greens. Oh, you can smell the turmeric. The saffron comes through. And the rose water just ever so slightly, maybe? Yeah. You don't taste rose water. Rose water just adds another dimension. OK, I'm just going to do fresh lime. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. I have put a Persian khoresh on top of a pizza before. I'm about to scoop the reme onto the dough. Oh once my God, again. Yara. Just do it from the top. You don't want too much flour. Now I'm going to flatten it. Ah, gravity. Gravity is helping us elongate this dough. Ah, gravity. Gravity. Ah, gravity. 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 Now you can use your sheet pan. We're going to oil it, you roll it, and you can put it right there. We make a great team, I have to say. <laughs> we can make many dishes. Yeah, let's turn all of the stews into pizzas. Yeah. Are you filming him? Ooh. <laughs> We are now going to put these in the oven just for a few minutes to crisp up the pizza crust. Amen. We're going to put the gourmet sabzi onto this half-cooked dough. It smells so good. You put a little bit here, spread a little bit. Mozzarella. <laughs> da, 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 da. Some Asiago cheese. Oh my god, this is actually looking really good. And parmesan. Ooh. Yes! Yeah. Okay, let's get it put in the oven. Okay. Just put it in the middle. Yes, okay. Oh my god! <laughs> okay. Holy guacamole. Oh, yes. I have never used one of these machines before. The heat is incredible. Oh my jeez. My hands are going to burn. Holy sh. I'm just gonna grab the edge. Jesus Christ. This is hot. It looks like those pizzas from the restaurants. So special. Magic. 
vibes. <laughs> We're done. <laughs> we just made Forma Sabzi pizza. So now this bastardized fusion distorted authentic dish is complete. So we're gonna cut it. We're gonna see how it tastes. Smell it. Wonderful. Garlic, cilantro, dry lime, fennel break. Oh. oh yeah. This is the moment of truth. This is the moment where we see if what we've made is an alien dish or something that was meant to be. You take a bite. No, no, I want you to do it. No, no, no. You're the you, queen. No, 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 no. You don't want to ruin my lipstick. You're telling okay. me what you think. I hope it's not too hot. Oh, we have a winner. Really? This is amazing. Ooh. You know, you can taste the acidity of the dried lime, the lime itself, fresh lime. You can taste the cardamom, you got a little bit of the saffron in there, and it's a really nice counterbalance to like the richness of the cheese. Ooh, I want you to taste though. Okay. Mmm, cheers. Cheers. It's good. <laughs> I think a little bit of spice works good. Okay. Why not? Yeah, let's do it. Oh, holy mother. Okay, that is a lot. Okay. Oh man. Oh wow, you like the heat. Ooh. It's spicy. It's better? Yeah, I like it better. I like it better too. You should add a little bit more. Lime. Lime. Yeah. A little bit of oh, this. Oh, yes. Give it a little bit of oomph. That was even better. Everything yeah. we add to it, it makes it better. All right, what is this? You're Pakistani, you like spice. Oh, snap. It's really good. That's so good. All right, next up is Eileen. I suggest you try. I like cheese. Okay. This piece is a good piece. Want to put more spice on it? I'm not a big okay, okay. No, no, <laughs> I love it. All right, let's see. Eileen's verdict. This is good. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Lemon juice on pizza. I swear to God, it's so good. <laughs> Are there experiences you've had in your life where you have shared our cuisine and our culture with somebody else in this country? And has that helped break apart any sort of misunderstanding or maybe fear that of might course. exist? Food diplomacy is very important. It's been happening since ancient time. Iranian king invites all their enemies. They share a table. Through food, you're trying to tell everyone you are like everybody else and we can connect through foods. It takes time. We should connect through our similarity and differences. And through Ormi Sabzi pizza, I think you can kill a lot of berries. <laughs> can we get rid of bigotry with Ormi Sabzi pizza? Perhaps. <laughs>Maybe it's going to be too thick. No, let's see. Right? No, it's not going to be. It's going to be okay. We're going to put this around it. In the middle, oh, it's going to be thin. Oh, yeah. It'll be like Domino's, like cheese stuffed crust. What if we did that? Cheese stuffed Domino's, Ormi Sabzi. Yeah. Pizza? Yeah. Okay. Nobody. <laughs>